Come all ye hardy shellbacks and listen to me tale Of most majestic worthiness that ever defied a gale The greatest vessel of her kind that ever a man did see She was the mighty clever ship, the sovereign of the seas East Boston, 1852, the yards of Donald McKay He built the biggest clever ship to ever launch down the ways His reputation on the line, his money ventured too but he would laugh the last he'd show them he was true. She crossed the line and doubled the horn. She lived to chase a breeze. She was the mighty clipper ship, the sovereign of the seas. Her frame of seas and white oak, her lines were sharp and long. Her backbone, knees and kilson, she was so stout and strong. 265 feet she reached from stem to stern 12,000 yards of canvas all for the wind did yearn With Neptune neath the bowsprit she cut the waves so fine She swept into New York, me boys, to work for the Swallowtail Line No ship to date had stowed so much down in the hold 3,000 tons of goods below took 30 days to load she crossed the line and doubled the horn She lived to chase a breeze She was the mighty clipper ship The sovereign of the seas The water gazers all along The battery did stare As she filled her sails to windward In the sunlight's golden glare Then outward bound for Frisco And the screaming westernies Across the line and round the horn through the roaring forties, the gale to cap the rigging will fix it underway. We'll weather any sea, the skipper did boldly say. Don't mind the boarding combers, as the solid green she ships. We'll throw up some more canvas, then we'll punch her through the ribs. She crossed the line and doubled the horn. She lived to chase a breeze. She was a mighty clipper ship. The sovereign of the sea.